Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the Future's flying DeLorean never made it to your driveway, but one man has spent the better part of his life and fortune trying to turn science fiction into reality. John Blackstone first reported on John Mahler and his flying car in 1988. And John shows us why Mahler is more optimistic than ever about seeing his vision take off. I'd be excited if this took off right now. Turn it around. Paul Mahler has a soaring ambition to build a workable flying car. When did you start thinking about flying cars? Well, I, I first got curious about flying when I rescued a hummingbird when I was five years old in Canada. As I let it go, it hovered for a second, then just disappeared. And I thought, boy, that's a great way to get to school. So you thought, if I could have a, a car that would fly me to school... If I, I could imitate the hummingbird, my life would change. Celebrated on television and film for decades, the flying car has remained an elusive dream for many. But Paul Mahler has dreamed longer than most. The big metal one. We first met 25 years ago. Back then, he showed us a flying saucer-like model he'd been working on since 1967. Do you ever get discouraged in, in this quest? No, I, I, I think we have enough periodic successes that we keep going. All these years later, Mahler Sky Car has flown, but at the end of a tether for safety. He's now waiting for the FAA to categorize the unique aircraft before he can test it with a pilot. This has been an expensive venture for you. How much money has gone into this development so far? Well, if you take everything, we, we've spent in this kind of an average about two and a half million dollars a year for 40 years. That comes out around a hundred million dollars, but much of that money I've had to create by other businesses. That's forward, that's breaking. Mahler made millions selling mufflers, but he has spent most of it trying to become the Henry Ford of flying cars. At some point in time, certainly within the next 10 years, uh, you'll be able to buy this vehicle for the price of a, of a good automobile. So you're talking seventy to $100,000? Yeah, I think, like I think even less than that because, the, again, we think we can build the engines for about $30 per horsepower. We have roughly 1,000 horsepower, so we have $30,000 in the engines. The vehicle itself costs about the same amount as the engines, so $60,000, yes. You're saying it really it doesn't take any skill to fly it? No, the computers are there to do that work. What's more, Mahler says his fully automated sky car will do the driving for you and without distractions like traffic, stop signs and pedestrians will be a safer way to travel. You're going to be delivered, you can sleep, you can read, you can play computer games, you can work on the way. The average person who has a similar dream to the one you've long had. And it's surprising how many people have the dream that I have. I'm not the only guy that wanted to imitate the hummingbird. There's a very large part of the population, aside from the idea of getting out of the damn traffic jams out there, that mobility, that's more than just getting out of traffic. That's getting into a different life. I've got start on one, too. But it's been so elusive. It has been elusive because it's got a fairly large amount of money attached to it to make it happen. Uh, but we've had clever people, we've had patience, and we've had the time to make it happen. Certainly had patience. Patience is number one. It's very light. How much does this weigh? Probably less than a thousand as it is. At this For CBS point. This Morning, John Blackstone, Davis, California. Actually, quite a bit less than a thousand. When I see a story like that, I wonder yeah. what people like General Motors, who have huge research uh, budgets, uh -huh. and, and Ford, and Fiat, and Chrysler, why aren't they pouring a lot of money in this? Because if they get it right, it's going to be a big deal, I would think. Oh, yeah. I think they're trying to think, how do we get that John Mueller guy? Because he's <laughs> on to something. <laughs> he is on to something. And has been working on it for so but long. But most discoveries come out of somebody like this rather than big companies. What do you say? Periodic success. Periodic success. Keeps That's you all going. you need. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. To keep you going. Yeah.